I hope you can hear it because it's absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, just close your eyes. Center yourself within that inner, in that very beautiful, imperfect body vehicle of you. And just take a deep breath in. Pulling in that light of divine expression, holding that light and letting out all of the discord and chaos in your life. Again, deep breath in, breathing in the light, holding the light, releasing negativity, any darkness, any chaos, release it to Mother Earth to receive. Last breath in. Hold the light, be the light, and release to Mother Earth all of your concerns, your worries, your upsets. She receives and she neutralizes and transmutes that energy beautifully. And she is so grateful to be of service to us today. Mother Gaia, the beautiful princess called Mother Earth. And today we just open in prayer and we, we thank all of the angels who are with us today. Who bring the message and the wisdom of the higher realms around us into our minds, into our body, into our soul. The spiritual guides, the masters, the teachers, our loved ones, the guardian angels, beings of love and light that we do not even comprehend, but we know they're there. The saints, the masters, the gurus, and the teachers of all world religions. The presence of God itself made manifest in our very being. We are literally God experiencing itself in this moment. We are the reflection of God in human form. And we bless God by being aware of this. And in this moment of kindness, this moment of mindfulness that we are in imperfect nature, in this human form, we recognize that we are love in motion. We are, if God is love, then we are love in motion. Because we are created in the image of God, are we not? We recognize that the, the, the perfection of the reality of the higher spheres is always flowing to us. Remember, you are never alone. You're never separated from that greater, higher cosmic mind, the infinite intelligence of divine love, of divine creative source that source of abundance and, and provision. We are always connected, and so that source of love is always flowing to us, to our crown chakra, to all of the chakras, and it flows from the spirit world and connects through the energetic system to our central nervous system, which is our mind, our brain, our spinal column, our chakras, which extends and creates this beautiful biomagnetic and, and electrical and, 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 and spiritual and etheric astral body, which is really the aura and expression. When you sense and see colors around people, you're literally seeing the soul emanation around a person. And if you will become mindful and become meditative on a regular basis, you'll become much more sensitized to that soul expression, the auric feel, the auric emanation, the divine emanation of that person, of others, of things, of, of creatures and plants, even the crystal mineral kingdom. By developing our spiritual gifts, and utilizing them in service to other people, we are being love in action, love in motion. And we should be, just like they say on an airplane, put your oxygen mask on first and then help the person next to you. It's the exact same principle we must remember. We must begin to utilize these sacred gifts that we have, that we're developing, 
that we carry with us at all times and use those for our own benefit first. It refuels us. It, it fills us up. Our teacup of life, that body vehicle, it holds more of that sacred expression. We fill up with spirituality and goodness and potential and purpose and value and matter and love. And the more we fill up the teacup of who we are, just a gentle tip forward and it just pours out, doesn't it? Just pours out so easy. So every day I wake up and I we say to ourselves, good morning, Kevin. Good morning, myself. I love you. You have purpose today. You took a breath today. It's going to be a beautiful day. God has a purpose for you today, for myself today. And I just bless my auric field and I bless my chakras. I bless my imperfect body temple. And I find ways to continue blessing myself throughout the day. Because when those dark cloud moments arise, I will be fueled enough. I'll have a reservoir of spectacular spiritual potential waiting to just tip out of me, pour out of me in abundance. When one of you calls or a friend calls you and says, I'm in a state of crisis, you'll be in a place of peace that you can help and support them. You'll be able to pray for them, to send distant healing for them. You'll be able to pray with them. You'll be able to teach them. The wisdom will come and just pour through you because you will have already begun to connect in a mindful way to spirit all around you. So spirit flows to us. Spirit flows through us. And spirit flows from us. Just as the oxygen in an emergency flows to us, we put that mask on and it flows through us. And because of the potential we build up in taking care of ourselves first, we can then help the person in our path, the person next to us, the person, the person in our proximity, our neighborhood, our family, someone in need. We can't help others unless we begin to help ourselves. And that's how we are kind to ourselves how easy it is to love yourself and be kind and compassionate. It's so easy. And just be aware of the field of energy around you and begin to sense if your loved ones, your guides, your teachers, the saints, masters, the ascended beings, the, the angels, the archangels, are they around you? I know they are. And just ask them to come around you and just to place a hand on your shoulder, on your head, a hand on your hands, a hand on your heart. Maybe they merge with you. Maybe they hug you. Maybe they, they, sh they shed their light upon you and they bless you with their very being. And just receive for yourself in this moment refuel yourself with the presence of this higher vibrational gift today and receive love yourself receive and the power pours into your very body, tem body temple the power the potential of all that you are is growing is expanding is aligning with a higher truth right now you are being healed and restored and the, and the angels and your guardians and your loved ones your teachers, the masters, the saints they step back you have received exactly what you needed today exactly what you needed today and you are blessed because you are love in action and you are favored clearly favored. You're given a human body to, ex to experience life itself in human form as a soul, a perfect, beautiful soul in human form. What a blessing. 
And so with the seed of truth planted in the garden of our mind, every day you will water that with the attention of mindfulness and meditation and being kind to yourself and recognizing we don't have to be perfect. We can be perfect when we return to spirit. But the purpose of life is to experience the challenges and the difficulties, to walk through the fire, to overcome obstacles, and to figure out how to better ourselves while lifting those around us up on the same journey. And I bless you and I love you. And let's begin to come back now to this reality. So just take a deep breath in, letting that breath out, knowing that you are perfect in the now, and begin to open those beautiful eyes, and welcome back. Welcome back, friends. And we want to thank you for joining us today at the Metaphysical Chapel. Our doors may be closed, but our hearts, our spirit, our love is always here open for you. I'm going to place some uh, links and descriptions down below in the body of the, or down in the comment section. And if you would like to support us, we could certainly use your donations of support. With our doors being physically closed, of course, attendance has dropped. And we appreciate you coming on today virtually. And if you can support us in whatever way, financially, it helps tremendously to continue this ministry value what we, what you do spread that love spread that spread that light listen we love you guys have a beautiful week reach out to us share this video on your timeline share it into your email list make sure there are links to the metaphysical chapel or to my website revkevinlee.com make sure that you share us with others spread the light around the world and that's a beautiful karmic action the more we spread positivity into the world, we reduce our karmic negativity and we raise our spiritual vibration and lessen the difficulties we have to experience in life as soul forms in human form. Good to see you, Betty Boo. Good to see you, Jennifer Ruiz. And thank you, Tim and Glenn, for being on today. So many of you. Susie, thank you. Gerald in England, thank you for being on today. We love you and we'll see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.